Good morning, Betting Nation. So I want to run through why I fancy this horse to back to lay in the 1240 race. And I'm also going to show you a little picture. I'll tell you what, let's start by a little picture. We are nearly ready. This is for front runners. So basically every single day we will be emailing you at 6 a.m. if you choose. We just what we're doing now is developing a page on the website where you can opt in, put your email address in, totally free, completely free, and you will get a list like this. Obviously, we need to change around some bit elements in here because race name, yeah. anyway, uh, you get the point. So we'll be doing that um, hopefully by Wednesday, um, developing the page today. I'll test it over the weekend, a um, couple of days for some changes. And uh, yeah, Wednesday, you should be able to get emails every single day at 6 a.m. telling you what horses have led or made all for the last three runs. Um, so simple as that, whoopie doopie doo. <laughs> right, so what I've done here is in 12 foy race, um, I've looked at 12.14, and that's a 12.30. Do, 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 do. So 12.40 race here, as it comes up. Right, so you can organize it by whichever way you want. So basically, I want to organize it by Betfair current price, and it will be showing you the favorite first all the way down here. As you can see, there's lots of pace in this race, which is great for our horse. And um, pace, 15 means that it's likely to lead 11 is going to be up there, 10 is going to be up there, and that's our unique speed ratings that I have developed myself, a lot of painstaking and time, but it's it's there now. Okay, so Forbidden Planet, let's have a look at this. So we tab down and we have a look at its previous runs. We only run four times, and we start by this one, slowly into stride, soon prominent. Now as soon as anything says slowly into stride, I'm like, whoa, hold your horses. However, this is why it's so important. For me anyway, what I recommend is to watch the replays. Um, obviously, you can't watch every replay, I get it, but just be careful if you're not watching replays because sometimes the guys who do the comments in running can be incorrect. On this occasion, it is incorrect. There's no way this is slowly into stride. Soon prominent, so already contradicting itself slightly. I know it's possible, but for me, it looks a bit contradictory. Um, not clear on three falls. Oh, um, and we have a look. It was... 17's Betfair SP went down to an in-play low of 3.3, 86.8. Not really interested in these, these, these here, guys, because it was maiden runs. I mean, it wasn't fancied at all then. Um, so these don't interest me whatsoever. This was his handicap debut. So this is what I'm really interested in, because this is the only race of any relevance. This went down. Yes, it went down, but it doesn't really matter, because it went down from 86 to 26. It doesn't take a lot of money to do that. So this is the only race here for me, for any relevance, because it's handicapped today, it was a handicap on this occasion, first time in a handicap. So what I want to do now, is I want to have a look at this race, and like Blue Te Peter, here's one I prepared, oh god, not like Blue Peter at all, prepared earlier. Right, so we click on here, and we want to have a look at the replay of this horse. As you know, my new office, by the way, I'm going to do a YouTube video after my run, I'm going to go to my new office, and I'm going to do a YouTube live so you guys can see my new office with me and see what it looks like. Um, hopefully, uh, well, hopefully, don't mind if you like all that. I love it. <laughs> right. Um, so let's click to watch this replay. And so we're looking for stall number one. So there's our little baby. And uh, there are. In this second Slowly division, into Grand stride. Theatre, Wolverhampton handicap Roxbury got a smart start, and it's well to the fore with Prancing Oscar and also Forbidden Pla. That's right, Posy. There it is. There. How is that slowly into stride? I mean, at the very, very worst, it's awkward. Awkward leaving stalls at the very worst. I don't know who did the comments this day, but it was 8:45. I'm just guessing that he'd had enough because he was not slowly into stride. There is no way slowly into stride means for me you won of the last. It wasn't even one of the last. It was prominent. It's anyway, it's ridiculous. So that kind of um, gives us a little bit of an edge over the market because the market can only see the comments. If you have watched this race, then you know that it's, it's not slowly into stride. So it gives you a little bit of an advantage over the rest of the population because of that reason. Anyway, right, so let's have a look at how this horse travels. For me, it travels really, really well. Remember, it's his handicap debut. And it was a 12 to 1 shot. So we're watching it here. How far? So we can... So we can see here, they're all, st Ooh, bloody hell, that was a, so we're all starting to get him ridden along. He's right there, look at that, traveling sweetly. The price is already going down because he's traveling so sweetly. 
all, he's traveling better than all of them. Yes, I know he's a bit further back. Just his shorter room here, doesn't know where to go, does he really? I mean, he said shorter room three fouls from home. I'm not sure if that's the case. He's still not at it here. On the wide outside, not the ideal position for the horse either, I don't suspect. Now he doesn't know which way to go. He decides to go through the gap here, gets blocked off again, and then has to go around again. I don't like the, the way the jockey's slapping the horse either. I mean, don't get me wrong, the whips uh, are so user-friendly now anyway. It's not, they don't hurt the horse at all. It's just about the noise. Um, but he's just, he's not, I don't know. So anyway, so we see here that um, travelled really, really well. The comments in running, not clear run, free fell on out. For me, it was over a fail and that was the worst bit of interference because the jockey just seemed to be caught in two minds whether to go left or go right or go on the outside or go not on the outside. However, it doesn't really matter. For me, we can mark this run up. It should have finished a lot, lot closer. I think that Rob had him too far back on this occasion and if he'd have had him closer to the speed, who knows, he may well have won. But that was a fantastic run for his handicap debut. Mark 73 there. It was a really, really good run. Today runs off a 69. Um, so definitely one to look out for. The fact that it travelled so, so well um, is is one. Um, yeah, and we've also got a jockey change. I didn't want to say it just then. I was only in iron because I'm thinking, I'm sure the jockey's changed, but I don't want to say it just in case I'm wrong. So we've got we've got an improvement of a jockey as well. The way this horse travels through the race and with the opposition as well, setting the pace like they're going to do, it's going to be a, a nicely run race for, for our little boy. Drawn in stall three, everything is to a perfect um, well, it seems to be perfectly set up, perfectly aligned for our horse. Um, so I am backing this horse. I'm back into lay, so it's a trade. It's a bet fair trade. I will be trading this horse for a 30 to 50% profit. So 30 to 50% profit means if I'm if I'm backing, um, this is not possible. Anyway, um, I'll I'll deal with him later. <laughs> It's always possible. There's always a read. <laughs> I, I am asking a lot of them all the time. Um, right, so uh, if I'm putting £100 on, I'm looking for a 30 to 50% profit. So 30 or £50 profit between that sort of scale. Okay, guys, enjoy your Saturday and we will speak again tomorrow morning. Okay, my friends, thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and put your thumbs up. All right, guys, cheers. Bye-bye.